Could jock jamming really make you feel more powerful? Y'all ready for this? It's no coincidence that most music played in stadiums features heavy bass lines to pump up the crowd. Think of the classic stadium chant, Queens, we will rock you. Sure, the music serves as a bonding moment, allowing groups of people to synchronize their neural firings and act as one unit, but does this kind of music actually have the power to increase performance and make each individual person feel invincible? Dennis Shu of the Kellogg School of Management at Northwestern University says that the Hulk-like energy crossed with sensei mastery you feel while listening to to a fist-pumping song isn't all in your head. Yes, you too can harness the dark arts of jock jamming. In the study, Shu and his team of researchers found that when a piece of music featured lots of bass, participants performed better on tasks. For example, a die rolling task to measure the illusion of control, an item categorization task to measure abstraction, and a decision-making scenario. Why only songs with a pumped up bass, instrumentally and vocally? Well, the researchers theorize it's kind of a cultural shorthand for dominance and confidence. Just think of James Earl Jones as Darth Vader in Star Wars. There's also something called contagion hypothesis, the idea that the coda of this music, in this case authority and dominance, is mimicked internally, which isn't surprising given that your motor cortex is actually mapping the music in the brain like physical movement, making you feel as though you are inhabiting the music physically and emotionally. Now if you want to tap into even more reserves of raw power, consider following the advice of psychologist Amy Cuddy of Harvard University. She advocates assuming authoritative poses. In her TED talk, Your Body Language Shapes Who You Are, she discusses the benefits of acting as though you have a cape billowing behind you, taking on the stance of a bona fide superhero. After just two minutes of inhabiting what Cuddy calls high power poses, she found that participants in her study had a significant rise in testosterone, often associated with confidence, and a significant decrease in cortisol, the stress hormone. It's a recipe for the perfect cocktail of hormones in your body to set you at ease while projecting the sense that you are a force to be reckoned with. Robert, what's your go-to pump-up song? Oh man, I have to go with Eye of the Tiger. Oh, that's yeah. a good one. For me, it is the entire soundtrack of The Sound of Music. Whoa. What about you guys? What gets you pumped up? Let us know in the comments below. And to keep the videos a coming, make sure to subscribe.